This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Bates versus Jackson. You all have been friends for 20 years. Uh, you met in the entertainment industry and you've been dating for a year. Uh, Ms. Bates, why have you opened this case against your boyfriend? Well, Your Honor, um, I think my boyfriend is she on me with my best friend. Uh, <laughs> we in the industry, I, like, I have a reputation that I have to uphold. And if he's out there doing something, I'm not really trying to walk around while females is laughing, hee hee, hawing, and they all up in my face. So, your woman's intuition has kicked in. Yes, Your Honor. My and what is it telling you? It's telling me that, uh, that I think he's, you know, he's slanging it a, a couple of places and it's not just with me. Mr. Jackson, are you slinging it a couple of places? No, Your Honor. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, Your Honor. Right. I'm, I, I'm here because her insecurities are driving me crazy, in tune driving her crazy, and <laughs> you can see all the hand gestures and talking with her. I, it's just, it's getting a little out of control. She's accusing me of doing things that I'm not doing, and I'm here to prove my innocence. If you find out he's cheating, what will happen with your relationship? I honestly, I don't know, because it's, tw it's 20 years. And, and it's actually with him and my best friend. So, it's a lot at stake right now. So, you've got two relationships on the line. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Take me back 20 years. <laughs> what did it look like at the beginning? Oh, <laughs> 20 years ago. Look at that smile. Wow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hosting um, an event. I remember they gave me the paper and, and his group was the next group that I was supposed to introduce. So I remember them walking by and I was just, oh, he's kind of cute. And uh, <laughs> two years later, I was on stage doing a stand-up and then him and the group walk in the door and I'm just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. So it was, it, it, for me, it was almost like a love at first sight kind of thing. And um, one thing led to another. We ended up having sex. But we never really talked about it. Um, the industry, things started changing. We started going different places in our life. Uh, there ended up being a period where we just, we weren't talking anymore. So fast forward to when you all reconnected and what that looked like. Um, <laughs> one, one of my friends, um, she was supposed to take me home. And um, we were going to, uh, I guess it was an event or something, and she was like, oh, I gotta do a pit stop. And I guess he was uh, with some friends. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I saw him, and it was like, you know, we, we, hey, what's up? You know, did the whole hug thing and everything. But when I looked at him, I was just like, wow, like, what if? And all those feelings just came uh, right all back. All those feelings, Your Honor. And, but see, I never knew if he actually had the same feelings because I never talked about it. It took you 20 years? I mean, well, I, I was in a I was in a pretty popular group. I was young. I, yeah, I was on tour. I was doing a lot of stuff. So my attention span with women was very short, and I was just yeah, I was I was busy. I was focused on other things, and a relationship or a girlfriend wasn't something that I was focused on at that time. All right. So fast forwarding now, 20 years when you are reconnected. Right. What was it that made you pay attention then? Well, she's always been a soldier. Like, she's always been a soldier. So I, I always admired that about her when we were younger. You know, she always had my back. She was always a good friend to talk to, someone that I can lean on. You know, I knew that she would give me the best advice if I ever needed it. You know, just always trying to lift me up and big me up. So I always admired that. I think every man needs a woman that, that does that for them. And I love her, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not here to play games with her, I love her. So I just want her to stop tripping, especially about her friend, because that's just, that's not nothing that I'm trying to do. They, she's our friend, she's both our friends. It would ruin all, a lot of things between all three of us. You know what I mean? So that, that's not the case. It's not the case at all. All right, so you said you've been faithful and you're not sleeping with her friend. That's, that's right, Your Honor. I am not sleeping with her friend, Your Honor. I am not sleeping with your friend, Angie. Yeah, okay. You don't believe it? No, Your Honor, I, I don't. I, there, there have been a couple of things that make me think otherwise. What was the first sign that he might be cheating? Well, the first sign, Your Honor, was we don't really take pictures like that. If we do, it can't go up on social media because we're in the industry. I've okay, been... wait, wait. Who made the rules that you couldn't have your relationship out on social media? All right, tell me about that. Why can't you have your well, relationship out there on social media? Your Honor, I'm, I'm a strong believer that social media is, is the devil, so to speak. It can help you and it can hurt you. All right. Our relationship is something that I take pride in, and I don't need people making comments on stuff that they know nothing about, judging something that they know nothing about. So I like to keep it private. So you wanted your relationship out on social media, and he's like, no, just keep it on the down low on the, key on the QT. 
Your Honor, I think he's out there being a Mac. Uh, there, there's probably other females. And whatever situation he's telling, because, like, everyone knows that we're friends. Like, they know about the 20-year friendship. But I don't think some know that, oh, so now it's official now. So if he starts putting more pictures up of me, it's gonna look obvious. And I oh, think that he's trying to hide it. Is there the possibility that him wanting to keep your private life private have any value to you? For your protection? Your Honor, I... I think there's more to it, honestly. I, I think it's more to it. All right, and why do you think there's more to it? <sighs> okay, so with my best friend, Your Honor, because we both are in the industry, there are times that I can't make certain events with him. So mm-hmm. I'll send my best friend so she can be my eyes. Wrong choice. Um, yeah, I found out it was a wrong choice. Right. Okay. Well, Your Honor, there was a situation, this one event, and uh, it was supposed to end at 11 p.m. He comes back to my house around 3, 4 a.m. the next morning, smelling like perfume that she specifically wears. Do you know he was with her, your best friend, that night? Yes, Your Honor, because I, I sent her to, to be my, the plus one. Okay, so if you knew they were gonna be together, it would make sense that he would smell like her perfume, right? Your Honor, I, I don't think it should smell like her perfume around his pants. I don't think it should smell oh, like my... <laughs> her perfume around his neck area. I'm, it, the event ended at 11 o'clock. Once the events end, that's it. And then you come home. Three, four o'clock, he couldn't even explain it. She's exaggerating that time frame. I'm, I'm exaggerating. I'm you, what a, time did you come home? It was more around one. I mean, we was mingling, hanging out. It's some L.A. life. So we you did go it. somewhere after, because you said you left the event and came straight to the house. Were you at the same place with her best friend until one o'clock? Yes, Your Honor. Why didn't you tell your girlfriend that? I was gonna tell her when I got home. <laughs> like, I, she didn't so, give me a chance to tell her. Like, I, I walk in and she's just... Nah, 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 he's like, nah, 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 where was okay. you? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Okay, Miss Bates, okay. are there any other examples or reasons to believe that Mr. Jackson is cheating? Yes, Your Honor. Um, hmm. So, we have each other's passwords. And I was going through his phone and I found screenshots of him and my best friend. Okay, what kind of screenshots? Uh, he's just cheesing and everything. Okay. Just Rob, looking like they were just having us, a please? pretty good old conversation. I don't know what they were talking about, like, but, I mean, oh there aren't God. even any pictures of me and his phone. So, they're, they're video chatting? Yeah, video chat. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's wrong with that? I didn't even know that they had each other's number. Why are you even screenshotting you guys talking on FaceTime? Okay, uh, I, I, I'm looking at these pictures, Miss Bates, and they are... They are just rel... It's nothing to them. It's... Look at this picture. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know what I was gonna do with that picture? That... I was gonna meme that picture. She was getting ready to get so much flack on that, I was putting that on her. <laughs> she had a bad hair face day, and I was just gonna just... I was gonna get on her. I was gonna get on her, because that's how... That's the type of relationship me and Deja have. We, we always uh, pranking each other. We always making fun of each other. If she don't feel like I'm up to par one day. She's always clowning me. If my sneakers are dirty, she's like, uh... You know, she's always getting on me. So that was my opportunity to return the favor. All right, but you are not buying this at all. No, Your Honor. He decided he wanted to have, um, a dinner. And I was excited. And the restaurant that he chose... Honestly, I thought he was gonna propose because it's one of those kind of restaurants. It's like, oh. that's the place you go to when it's something real special, you're gonna propose, like, you getting married. Right. And um, he told me, he was like, make sure, you know, just, just look real nice, go out, get your hair done, um, get a nice outfit. So right. I did, I went and got my hair done, I had my makeup done, I went and got me a nice little outfit. He had all these roses for me and everything. I show up at you know, <laughs> at the restaurant. And I was just like, oh, yeah. But I called my best friend, like, girl, oh, I think he about to propose. Like, all oh, this. Like, I'm just excited. I get through the door, I see more roses. And then when I look around the roses, I see her sitting at the table sipping out of the glass. Your best friend? My best friend that Is I it... just... Yes. Did she say anything like, I'm there too? She didn't say that she was there, Your Honor. I'm just sitting here talking about how I think I'm about to get proposed to, and she's actually sitting at the table already. So... Wow. I turn and ask him, like, what's going on? He's like, oh, you know, this is for me, you know, to show my appreciation to you both because I value all of our friendships. Okay. Okay. I mean... I can't do that. 
but I'm Why'd you invite her best friend? Best friend didn't get roses. It was, a, it was levels to it. She just got uh, some, she was gonna eat, but she wasn't gonna get what she was getting. She shouldn't have been there. You know what I mean? It, it, was, it, was, and it, it was exactly like I explained. I was just valuing the friendship and the love that I got for her more so, but for both of them, for, for Deja being a supporter, for Deja being cool, you know what I'm saying? We all known each other for so long. I didn't expect it to be a problem because it was no, it, it was just like, we all getting ready to go out and have a good time. All right, Mr. Cutler. <sighs> There's her side. There's his side. And there's the best friend's side. And the best friend is here. <laughs> Ron, would you escort our next witness? Yes, Sean. How are you? I'm good. Hello. Oh, good to see you. Likewise. Would you state your name, please, for the court? Deja Prince. Okay. Uh, Miss Prince, what is the nature of your relationship with uh, Miss Bates and Mr. Jackson? She's my best friend, and he's a very close friend slash associate. How do you feel that your best friend is accusing you of sleeping with her boyfriend? I feel hurt. I feel disappointed because this is my best friend. Every time we talk now, it's... Have you talked to him? And then it's off the phone. It's very strange. It's like she doesn't even, like, love me no more. And that hurts me, you know, because we've been friends for 20 years. And I would never disrespect her like that, or myself. You know, I, not for a guy. You know, this is sisterhood. You know, we've been through so much together. So why would I jeopardize that for two minutes? Whoa. I, not, no, no offense. <laughs> He goes longer no. than that. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> Is there anything you want to tell your best friend in the world? I would never do that to you, ever. I do love you. I have your back so much. This whole situation, there's things like, there's lines that's been crossed if it's supposed to be sisterhood. We wouldn't be here if, if the lines were crossed. But I didn't cross nothing. Thank you, Miss Prince. You're welcome. This is a relationship on the line. Uh, Miss Bates, if you find out he's cheating, this 20-year relationship is in jeopardy. It's, yes, Your Honor, it's definitely gonna be in jeopardy, both of us. And both of them gonna have to watch their back. All right. All right. To get to the bottom of this, uh, the court has ordered Mr. Jackson to undergo a forensic voice analysis, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort into the courtroom our forensic voice analyst, Mr. Guy Wolf. Mr. Wolf, how are you, sir? Stand over by the moment. Good day, Mr. Wolf. How are you? I'm well, Your Honor. All right. Now, you performed a forensic voice analysis of Mr. Jackson. Is that right? That's correct, sir. Okay. What does that entail? Uh, basically, what it does is it operates on the spoken word, and it measures the frequencies in a spoken voice. So, we determine whether there's deception or truth based on what shows on the computer. Right. So, let's take a look at the first question you asked. Have you and Deja had sexual conversations with one another? No. So what did your forensic voice analysis determine from that? The forensic voice analysis determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. No sexual conversations or flirting. That's a good step. That's a good start. It's June of 2016, mm -hmm. since you and um, Angelique had been together. Have you had sexual contact with any woman other than Angelique? <laughs> so that tells me yes. <laughs> <coughs> so in other words, it's not Deja, it's somebody else. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Just spill it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. How long ago has that been? I don't... Uh, Maybe a week ago. <laughs> she got me out here looking. Miss Bates. Right. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. What is that that I'm seeing in your eyes right now? <laughs> My heart. I'm. I, I feel betrayed. I feel like it was a game for him. He knew I was focused on her. So it's. It's like. Okay, well, while she's distracted with her, well, let me go ahead and sleep with somebody else. Mr. Jackson, what happened? I made a mistake, you know? I made a mistake. Honest mistake. So is this the only time you've made a mistake? Yes. 
Your Honor, yes. Ms. Bates, you have come here and you wanted to know the truth. What do you want to do with this relationship with Mr. Jackson? Your Honor, I... I want to work it out, but I don't know if I can. Come on, man. Like, it's been too long. Like, seriously, like, you, you don't have to... Like, we got... We go through too much, though. I'm saying we've been through too much. Like, like you, you, you know what you mean to me, man. Like, you know what you mean to me, all right? You know what you mean to me. You all have been together for several years. You're building your relationship, but allegations of cheating are interfering with your building this relationship and have caused problems with what you're trying to build. Is that right, Ms. Batts? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you opened this case today. Tell us why you're here. Jeffrey is a cheater. My lease is about to be up in 10 days, and I want to see when I move, am I taking him with me? Okay. Oh, okay. that's it. He's a cheater. He cheated with my friends, with anybody that come around. He cheated with our not, roommate. I did not cheat. I did not cheat. I, Your Honor, I did not cheat with the roommate. That is a lie. But what, what do you want to show her? You're here today. She has made these allegations. I, I want to show her that I didn't have sex with our roommate, with, with her roommate, which is her friend. That's not true. Why do you specifically believe that Mr. Wall is cheating? I sent Mr. Wall to the store one day. He was gone for hours. So I was like, oh, my God, maybe something happened to my guy. Uh, nah, that go. I called his friend, and that's when I found out we was living in the same po- complex as his ex-girlfriend. <gasps> And that's probably where he was going when he when I sent him to the store all the time because he'd be going for hours. No. Did you know your ex was living in the complex? Yes, she was living oh, there before on. he Did moved Did you here. know that she was living in the complex? Yes, Your Honor, because I figured more or less like one lives here and we live here. They're never going to see each other. Really? 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 <laughs> really? But here's the thing. Here's the real issue. It's not so much that you go into the store. But you did not tell her some critical information about this move that she would have wanted to know. And so, if, right. we, if we move somewhere... Yeah. I have to let you know who's in the yes. neighborhood. Is that what you're saying? I, no. You just need to let me know if an ex is in the neighborhood. <laughs> but your ex is, man, I ain't worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I've given you no reason to worry, right? Yeah, that's it. I've given you no reason to worry. I that's it. But you understand how she feels. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Miss Miss Batts, my best friend. I knew her since That's I was That's what nine. I was going to ask you about, Miss Batts. I you knew her since I was now. I was hanging out with her. She was like, oh, everybody wanted a piece of me. So I didn't say nothing. I put my head down because she was like, oh, I don't know why you putting your head down. Jeffrey want to b- me too. All right, I, okay. So I'm like, what? This guy texts, they've been texting for months since we, like, they've been together for like a year, I'ma say. And he took $200 from her. Hold on, Ms. Oh. Bat. I need to hear like, the reason for these texts. Okay, her friend seen the way I was treating her. I was treating her good. We was hanging out, we was going places, and we were really? doing things, okay? Now her friend tried to get in on the back end. Oh. You I let see... her in no. on the back end. Yeah. You no, opened I the door. Not, I did Ms. not. Hold, I on, did hold, not. On, hold on, hold on, I did not. Her friend offered me money. I took the money on a promise that I was going to do something with the friend, but I didn't. After he took... Wait, okay, so what were you going to do with this friend? Have sex. What did you promise? After, to have sex, because after he took the money and I found out they was having sex, I, no. I, I found out they was texting. And I was like, don't do that. Like, that's real I... messed up. Like, this my friend. Like, you wildin'. He was like, oh, I'm a, I was only playing with her. All right, if you was only playing with her and I told you to stop playing with her, why are y'all still playing? Then? No, no, yeah, uh, listen. So, Ms. Batts, only, hold, only, hold on, hold on. Ms. Batts, why you, y'all actually still playing? Su- you actually submitted to the court your recollection of texts that you received yes. from this woman, right? Yes, oh. Okay, the other woman wrote... You shut up. That's why your man is in my bed now. Yes. And you responded, girl, bye. Yes. And she responds, I can give him something you never can, a baby. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. She only saying that because I, I had cervical cancer and I had a hysterectomy, so I can't have babies no more. And he helped me with that, too. Like, that is mad crazy stuff. That's, that's kind of pretty deep. I have, that's, I that's have a deep. lot of rebuttals for this. Okay. <laughs> I have, Wait a minute. I, I, need, I need to hear, first of all, why you are texting back and forth with this woman. For months. And you, for months. Months. And you got Miss Bats. That's number one. Then number two, who takes money and think they ain't gonna have to pay for it? Okay. okay. Her friend, Thank her... you. So, let's go. Why are you texting for months with this woman? 
They're a couple. Hold up, Ms. Bass. Not, let him finish. I was not texting for months. It was maybe like a month. He lied. Okay. Like, I'm, the only time, the only time I see the woman is it, the only time I see the woman is if I'm with Tamika. A lot, and we be at her house. And she give you money, and you with her all the time. Okay. The money, me, situ the money situation. Money Ms. Bass. Ms. Bass, we, we want to hear from him, okay? Go ahead. Okay. How I got the money from a friend. Tamika called me and said she had some money for me. I rushed over there to get the money. Once I at was my friend house. Once I was leaving, her friend was like, text me. I was like, for what? So when I left, I texted her, and she said, how much money Tamika gave you? I said, she gave me this much. She said, well, I'll give you some. Come back. So I was like, wow. So I got, I went back, I got the money. Ask him I what got, he I did got with the money. I got the money on a promise. Okay, you give me the money, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take care of you. Let me take care of my business first. I took the money, I ran. I didn't tell her, and... And what were you gonna take care of? <laughs> so... You had two chances to say no. When she said, text me, you could have not texted her, but how you went on and texted one? her. Two weeks. Then on, when you on, texted her, she said, how much money did she give you? Come back, I'll give you, I'll give you that much. You went back. So you had two chances to say no, and you didn't. So the question is, did you sleep with this woman? No, young. But you promised to. Uh, yes, yes, young. I promised to sleep with her, but I didn't sleep with her. You think she gonna let you take her money and you not actually, actually fulfill your promise? He did. You think that's it. gonna happen? He did. I got, him. I, I, I got it already. I got he the did. money. She can't do nothing. Because after he took the money, they still was talking. <laughs> you wouldn't still talk to somebody if you took I their money. Now, you also said, Ms. Bats, that there was a friend, and I'm presuming a roommate, rather, yes, my that friend. he's been involved with. Tell me about that. Another friend. I was at, I was at work. Okay. Her, friend, her friend is always flirting with me when she's at work. Everybody. Her friend is always with flirting with me. You're that cute. Okay. Right. You're look how right. I look. Look how I look. Okay. All right. Come on. So Tell me what I'm happened. At work. It's late. It's dark. I come from work. I live on the second floor. I go walking, but there's no light. So I'm like, oh, nobody's home. Nobody's there. I get inside. It's pitch dark now. The whole apartment, everybody lights is off. My door don't usually be closed, but this day it was closed. So I pushed it open and it was kind of dark. So I went walking around, but I saw like clothes on the floor. You know, like people just take their clothes off. And, right. Mm. Flip the light on. It looked like she just, she looked like whoever it was, my, my roommate Lee, she pulled her pants down, her like boy shorts. You know mm -hmm. how you just step out the boy shorts? They yeah. right at the edge of the bed where she just pulled her shorts on and just climbed in the bed. I hung them over the door in the bathroom. My room is right by the bathroom. Room. I'm gonna hear or see somebody say, oh, there go my shorts. Right. Oh, here she, where they was. I was looking for these. Maybe they was in the laundry. We don't do our laundry together. So, so that's how you knew it was your roommate. Yes. Underwear. And this yes. is a person that's been your friend since you were kids. Yes. She came, she she came got, and stayed no. for a visit. She came and for became... a visit. Two women wow. living together. Two, two women living together. One woman at work, the other woman walking around like a predator. Tight shorts on. Oh. I'm not paying no attention. You get up and leave. That's, uh, but I, I, I'm not paying no attention to the woman. You would have, so you would get I up never and leave. even flirted with the woman at all. So I don't even know how the woman got in her mind that I liked her or anything like that. I don't know nothing about no boy shorts or nothing like that. Was she flirting with you? Of course she's flirting, walking around with your tight shorts on when my girl's not there. Okay, so and you're at home. me to go to the store for you and stuff like that when she's so not there. So your girlfriend's not there. Why he don't she, Hold on, hold on, Ms. Ms. Bats, hold on. Because I could Ms. check Ms. when Bats. your girlfriend come back. Ms. Bats, please. So you're there with this woman. She's walking around, boy shorts on, trying to get your attention. You know she's trying to get your attention, and you don't act on it. No. Her friend is all about drama. Lee we is all about drama. We was arguing every day after that. He come, oh. she come knocking on my door. Sling, stop texting me, please. <laughs> what? So, so what happened? Is she still your roommate? No, I just see her in four months. We had a, like a, like a, it, it almost got into a hand altercation. That's how physical it was. It was like outrageous arguing. And he so, saying he didn't mess with her, so she going this hard for nothing. So you got into a fight, you kicked her out, you yes. haven't seen her in four months. Yes. All right, so there's your side, there's his side, and there's a roommate side, or ex-roommate side. She is here today. <laughs> Ron is cornering. That's the ex-roommate. That's your girlfriend. That's why she came here. That's why she know we're here. You still be speaking to her. That's 
that's your girlfriend, cause how she here? I didn't speak to her in four months. How she know we was coming here? You still was talking to her. All right, Miss Vance. Right. I know it's gonna be difficult. You you sit in your hands. You you're itching. I understand that, but we want to get the answers that you came here to get. Okay. Good day, ma'am. How are you? How are you doing? All right. Would you state your name, please, for My the name court? is Lee Herrera. And you go by Lee? Lee, yes. Okay. What is your relationship to Miss Tamika Bat? Um, me and Tamika were friends for a very long time, for more than over 10 years. And due to the circumstance that we got into this argument over some oh, shorts. Oh, well, yeah, sorry, language in court, sorry that was um, found in her room. It's, it's, I feel, like I said, it's, she's insecure. Very insecure person. I feel that maybe she has been, he has put her probably through a lot of stuff, and that's where the altercation, the argument came from. But then I, the way I feel about her just putting me out her house with the way everything happened was like, I was not living there for free. I was paying your rent, and you, instead of you coming to talk to me and really figuring out how the shorts got into your room or how it happened, you just, she kicked me out. Like, Lee, it was, what work you was paying? Well, I was paying you rent. I wasn't living there for free. What kind I was of paying rent? you $500 a month. You paid That's one time. One time? One time. When I came to your house, I told you, listen, I got a situation, and I'm gonna come and stay here with you. Now, don't start putting all, all the stuff that I we was not paying you. We all got situations. All right, you right. Okay. Miss, stay Miss, 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 look, all right. What was your relationship with Mr. Wah? They None whatsoever. We didn't have no relationship. They My was relationship couple. was with her. When I wasn't Ms. around. Miss Herrera, it, Mr. Uh, y has testified that you were flirting with him, that you were walking around the house dressed provocatively, boy shorts, tight shirts, and so forth. What is that true that you were walking around in those type of clothing? It was only one that one day I did have boy shorts, and due to the fact that I had them shorts on, because I was ready to go to bed. It was already late at night. I was ready to go to bed. I was about to go to uh, bed. I had a tank top, and I was ready to go to bed. So you never had sexual contact None with Mr. None whatsoever. Wild. You never had sexual intercourse with Mr. Yes, they did. No. Yes, they did. Never. She, never. she told my mother, never. oh, my God, my mother called me one day. Hey, girl, what's going on? What's up with you and your threesome? That's what? what? That is such a lie. Uh, I have no idea, but I never had I, no type of dealings with the woman sitting on sitting next to you. Let me tell and you. And that's why. your story. And I'm sticking to you. Uh, that is your story. Uh, he said I'm sticking to it, part. That's your testimony <laughs> today that you have never had any kind of sexual relationship with Miss Herrera. I'm positive of that. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Yes. I think we've heard enough testimony. And we have a yeah. relationship on the lie. Miss Batis said. My lease is coming up. And the question is, am I going with you or am I going by myself? Mm -hmm. And if you find out his cheating, Miss Bats, you're done. Yes, I and am. And you are going on your own. Yes, I am. All right. <laughs> to get to the bottom of all of this, the court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Patrick Coffey to determine is he cheating? Let's <laughs> talk. I can help them out. He is. You did a polygraph examination of Mr. Waugh, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, that is correct. All right. Would you please state for the record your credentials? I'm a retired special agent with the U.S. Army Criminal Investigation Command. I did that for 20 years. Upon retirement, I opened a private investigation company and have been doing private investigations and polygraph examinations for the last 20 years. Mr. Wall was asked, since being in a relationship in January 2016 with Ms. Batts, have you had sexual intercourse with the roommate, Miss Lee. What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined he was being truthful. That's only one. Mr. Y, you looking better and better. <laughs> Let us do one more question. We got one more question. Since being in a relationship with Ms. Batts in January 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your girlfriend? What was his response? Mr. Wall made an admission <laughs> and said yes. What? Yes, ma'am. He admitted to having sex with three different women <gasps> on three oh. different occasions. What's going through your mind right now? 
so much. Talk to him. He needs to know what's rolling through there. You're a cheater. That's Give me one more chance, baby. No. I'll make it up. No. To you. Like, don't listen to it. You was, it's like three girls. Like, you was, like, messy. Like, you real messy. So you're done. <laughs> you know, Miss Bats, you'll get to the other side of this. But what I would say to you, Miss Bats, is I'm you gonna have to go to the other side by myself and wait, Lee, if she still wanted to be my friend. I love you, girl. You know you love me. Sorry, you should have loved Go over there and be with your buddy. <laughs> you all have been together a little over two years. You are living together, and you're considering a move together across the country. But, Ms. Noor, you're not moving anywhere if it is determined today that he's cheating. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Right. And, Mr. Anwar, you understand what's at stake here today, right? Yes, I completely do, Your Honor. Your future together, your moving together, all of that's at stake today, right now, depending right. on what happens here, correct? Yes, I and do. And you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Noor, tell me how you all got together. So, Tusif and I met um, on social media. Um, we met on Facebook. And he was, you know, like, he was, you know, hitting me up for a long time. And, you know, like, I wasn't really, like, you know, giving into it. <laughs> and then I... You played you know, hard to get? Yeah. <laughs> Six months. Six so, months. Okay, that's yeah. deal. You know, I, he was, like, hitting me up for a while. And I was like, you know what? One day I was, like, bored. And I had my rabbit. And I was, like... And I was, you know, we were hanging out. And so, like, I brought, it, brought her over to his house. And we were, you know, we were just hanging out. And we really clicked. And so I wasn't planning on dating someone. But I started dating him because I really fell for it, you know? We had a lot of fun um, towards the beginning. It was really romantic. So when you say us, you mean he took you and your rabbit on the date? Sometimes the rabbit, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And when she said rabbit, I said, did she say rabbit? <laughs> and look, you were chasing her for six months. What was it about her made you say, I got to stay in this? Honestly, Your Honor, I would say everything, you know? Like, the moment I saw her, you know, she was the most beautiful girl. She had, like, the most beautiful eyes. And I just, you know what I mean? I just knew at that moment that I love her and I want to be with her for the rest of my life. All right, well, <laughs> Romeo, Juliet, and the love bunny. All of that all together no. here. <laughs> What were the first signs that make you feel suspicious about? So, to begin with, I mean, at first, like, I wasn't super snoopy, but once we got, you know, kind of serious about, like, you know, like, a month in, I started, like, looking at his phone, and, you know, I would see, like, <sighs> texts from other, like, women, and, you know, like, all this stuff, you know? <laughs> you know, like, I used to, you know, and I was, like, like, I'm so into you, but, you know, like, maybe, like, there's another side that I don't know or what's, what's going on, you know? So I started getting suspicious, and there would be su situations where I would smell, like, women's perfume on him, stuff like that, you know? Not true. So there that was... Is not true. There, there was definite suspicion, you know? So... Okay, so, Mr. Anwar, who are these other women texting you? No one. My mom, my sister, you know what I mean? Like, I, I never did Yo. anything to hurt her. Yo. And, you know, I love her to death. And I, I just want to, you know, start our life together and be happy together. And that's why I'm here, you know, trying to prove that, you know what I mean, I'll do anything to make us work. You submitted an exhibit to help you explain some of the changes that you yes. saw in his behavior, right? Yes. Okay, would you step to the monitor, please, and yes. show yeah. us what you brought? So, I, I am a teacher, so I like like visuals um yeah so in terms of communication we towards the beginning we were great you know we would we would you know we would talk you know <laughs> we would talk um we were you know we would we'll communicate about time. everything and now now he's too busy texting other women to even you know to that even so not true. to like, even communicate with me you so, know mr anwar hold on so are you finding him like texting while you're all supposed to be visiting with each other or late at night or early in the morning, what do you see? Usually, like, late at night, you know, just, like, kind of... But, again, very snoopy. He's very secretive. Yeah, because okay, you so see what... the exhibit. I mean, that's a bed. So is is he texting other women while you're late at night in your, in your bed? Well, no. there's actually a story that I'm going to go into, but I've heard him, you know, speaking to other women, like, getting out of bed, you know, like, oh. leaving, leaving the room 
going to talk to, you know, other women in another oh room. God, that is and, this is in the wee, and is this in the wee hours of the morning? Yeah, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you know? Okay. All so right. what other changes have you seen? So I've also seen um, a change in romance. Before, he used to give me, you know, he used to bring me chocolates and flowers and teddy bears. and The take, classics. Yeah, take I me out do. on, like, spontaneous dates, all that stuff. And now? now it's, there's, you know, the romance is dead. There's, so he's just coming home. He's just coming home, usually leaving late at night, you know, not telling me where he's going, smelling like perfume. Oh! What other changes have you seen? So, um, a change in our sex life. Okay. Um, he used to have sex with me at least, like, nine, ten times a day. We don't... You, you said nine, ten times a day? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're not gonna just leave that laying there, no pun intended. Oh! <laughs> uh, that rabbit is quite an inspiration for them. <laughs> Okay. I, I, I'm going to put rabbit on the list. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because I'm yeah. not up to nine or ten times a day. I'm not into that. <laughs> so what has it become now? Now it's maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Oh, that's not true. Yeah. Not that's true. a big drop off. It's weird, right? And Mr. Cullen, these are the classics. Lack of communication, mm -hmm. what you did to get them, you don't do to keep them. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the admirable nine times a day <laughs> to once a week or once every two weeks. These are just the classics. Classics, yeah. All right. If you'll come back to your uh, podium, Ms. Thank Nora. you. Mr. Anwar, That's how are you going to go from nine, ten times a day to once a week? Your Honor, to be honest, um, she is lying. Um, <laughs> you know, to be completely honest with you, we did the thing, like, this morning even, you know, and she's always lying about stuff like this. Oh. She always wants to make me look bad. She's that like, falls under the category of too much information, but okay. But, Ms. Noor, I see that you have probably the most interesting witness we've had in this courtroom. He's yes. very thin. <laughs> Can you tell me about this? What do we have here? Yes, so um, I am a science teacher. So oh, okay. this is the anatomy of a cheater. Um, <laughs> All right, tell me about the anatomy of alert. a cheater. Yes, so the anatomy of a cheater, um, you might find that the cheater uses his mouth to talk to other women. Tusif um, uses his mouth to talk to other girls. Um, initially, I, like I mentioned earlier, he, you know, he would text other women. You know, he would kind of hide the text, delete them, whatever. Now, more recently, you know, I had been keeping up with some of his texts from the past. And as I was, like, looking back, I saw some texts about, oh, like, you know, like, I, I wish we were still together. Like, oh, like, that is not you know, true. like, oh, Where did like, you see that? I miss you. Like, oh. anyway. And, Ms. Nor, you submitted your recollection of that text to the court, correct? I, I did, I did. Okay. Uh huh. Um, and this is, let's take a look at that. And this is a text to his ex. And, Mr. Anwar wrote, I miss what we had. Oh. Me too, is her response. Mm hmm Kay. All right, Mr. Anwar, did you send this text to your ex? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I did. Um, but it was, it was towards the beginning of our relationship. I wasn't as sure as I'm right now. And that was probably, like, a month into, like, us dating, you know, and... Mr. Anwar, you were sure enough to be, you know, engaged with her nine times a day. How much more sure do you need to be? <laughs> To me, like, that doesn't really prove anything, you know, and... Have you cut off your communication with her completely? Yes, I have. You have, you have not had any communication since this text? No, um... I... But I see you shaking your head. Uh-uh. Okay, why do you say that he has continued to communicate? Okay, so, tracking back to the anatomy of a cheater... Okay. Um, so, one night, I hear, you know, I hear him get up. It's about 3 a.m. in the morning. I hear him get out of bed. And he's going into the other room and he's talking to someone over the phone. So I scooch over to the corner of the bed and I'm listening and I'm like, you know, like, you know, like trying to hear it. And he's just sitting here sweet talking to this girl. All, like, oh, like, that baby, boo, I was, I was making fun of you know, her the whole all time. that. All that. And you, you believe, and you believe that was the ex he was talking to? It definitely was because I went back and I checked the, the number and I had been following that number since the beginning. And that was after this text had happened? Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, yeah. This was, like, two, three weeks ago. Oh. Yeah. Were you talking to your ex two or yes, three weeks Your ago? Honor, I was, but, you know, she... she Wait a minute. Out. Hold it. Okay. I, I... Yeah. So, 
are you lying now or were you lying a few minutes ago when you said you had not had contact with her since this? Uh, Your Honor, I wasn't lying to you. I don't have contact with her. She just called me randomly and, you know, like, to be honest, like, if I had to pursue other women, I want you to be honest, be but ex, I don't think you know? that's what's happening here. That's the problem. Yeah, but, you know, like, if I had to talk to other women, I wouldn't go to my ex to begin with. And, you know, she called me and, you know, I was... She was very drunk, so, you know, when I was talking to her, you know, she kept on blabbering, and I was like, can I hang up? Like, I have to go, you know? I don't wanna... I don't wanna, you know, stay here talking to you in the middle of the night. And, you know, she kept Look, blabbering, and I was just making fun of her the Mr. whole time. Mr. Anwar, it's real simple. Watch this. Click. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I was just trying to be polite. All right, Ms. Okay. Noor. All right, so, going back to your anatomy of a cheater, what do we have on your cheater's hip? So, yeah, so the ch in the cheater's hips, you might find a wallet, right? So one day, I was doing two sips laundry, and like the amazing girlfriend I am, oh. I, was, I was doing his laundry, and, I, and I'm very snoopy, so I looked through his wallet, and I found a condom. And I'm on birth control, we don't use condoms. So you can fill in the blank. <laughs> so why do you have a condom when uh, you don't use them with your girlfriend? I had that condom since I was 10 years old, to be honest. Every you guy had has a one. condom in your wallet, Every the same guy has condom? One, and I wouldn't count on it either. You know, I had it, I forgot about it. You know, and I don't even think that would work, to be honest. A you know? ten year old wait a minute. A ten year old with a condom for real? Well, I was a bad kid, what can I say, you know? For a person who's having sex nine times a day, I can't believe you even held on to a condom for ten years. <laughs> That's true. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, Mr. Anwar, I wanna make sure yeah. your testimony is you are not cheating. No. All of these things look bad, but they're not bad. They're not bad. It's all misunderstanding. And, you know, I would never do anything to hurt her because, you know, I love her so much and she's perfect for me. And, you know, she's so smart, beautiful. She graduated college at 18, for God's sake. You know, it's just insane. Like, I don't even know where I can find a girl like that, you know? Well, I agree. I agree. You, it's hard to find a good woman. Yes. That's why we've done a full investigation. We're gonna find out if you're cheating or not. That's Love, this is, the, this is what we got. Talking to an ex, condom in a wallet, those are the things that have Miss Noor believing that Mr. Anwar is cheating. And she has said, I am not moving across country and be with you and you're cheating. She said, I'm out if I'm doing that. Am I right? Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, Your Honor. You said Ms. Noor graduated from college at 18? Yes. So she's very smart. Very smart. You can't outsmart her. I know, Your Honor. That's why I don't try to. <laughs> well, you know what? You can't outsmart this court either because this Absolutely. court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, we're going to call for forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf to determine, is he cheating? Guy Wolf. Guy Wolf. Guy Wolf. Guy Wolf. How are you, Mr. Wolf? I'm well, Your Honor. How are you? We're good. We're good. Glad to see you, as always. Good to see you as well. Now, Mr. Wolf, would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Yes, Your Honor. I have more than 20 years of experience in law enforcement, most of which was spent as an investigator. Uh, I have more than 12 years of experience as a forensic voice analyst and have performed hundreds and hundreds of exams. Would you explain for us how forensic voice analysis works? Yes, Your Honor. When you speak, you have AM and FM frequencies in your voice, like on a radio, and when you tell a lie, the FM frequency goes away. Forensic voice analysis works by analyzing or measuring those frequencies. I can then look at a chart and I can determine where somebody's being deceptive. Now, you asked Mr. Anwar a series of questions, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Let's take a look at the first question you asked. Since being in a relationship with Ms. Noor, have you had physical sexual contact with your ex-girlfriend who you received a call from in the middle of the night? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The forensic voice analysis determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. I think you believe it. I mean, I guess it's science. I have you know, to. you're a science, science teacher. Like, <laughs> this is science. All right. Can't beat it. Let's take a look at the next question. Since being in a relationship with Miss Noor, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than Miss Noor? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The forensic voice analysis determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. There you go. Well, Ms. Noor, 
That's a lot. <laughs> Miss Amor, how do you feel? I feel relief, Your Honor. I, that this is why I came here to prove her uh, that you know I never did anything to hurt her, and now she knows. You know, I really want to you know spend the rest of my life with her, and you know I just had to um, ask a question to her if you guys allow me to. Sure. Um, I really love you, and I want to be like with you for the rest of my life, and I just want to ask you this. Can we marry you? over there and, and saw that. All right. Now, what you did to get her, you got to continue to do. Yeah. So if you were romancing her, whether it's cooking a beautiful meal for her, but you got to do that. Yes, Your Honor. And take some uh, vitamins so you can get back up to your nine times a day. <laughs> for sure I will.